hey y'all welcome back to our channel in this video i will be showing you all how to make a thumbnail so first what we're going to do here is we're going to first go to eraser and with eraser i'm going to make the little um pictures of us that you saw so right now i'm just you know searching for the picture and stuff and you're gonna see me select the picture now what i do is what I do is I usually try to press target area and then it's black so it deletes the black but you, as you can see with this it's so much black that it's deleting majority of the black. So what I then did was I went and um, went to the eraser part and I just basically traced myself and the re and you if you want if you OCD then I can understand why you worried about all the extra riggy areas but as you can see I put a border around the pictures of us so therefore I'm not really worried about if I missed some black or if I didn't miss or if I erased too much or if I didn't erase enough because the border is going to be around so it doesn't really matter how if whether it's neat or not because with the border around it you can make it as thick as you want it's easy to cover up those mishaps so right here you just see me basically erasing what i couldn't um target area erase so i'm just you're going to see me basically tracing out and that's what you're going to see me see me do for both pictures and saving and i'll be back once that's done Okay, so right here you're gonna see me press done and then I'm gonna like see if I wanna save it just to see if there's any um areas that I did I missed. And then right here you also gonna see I didn't want my border to be like straight line. I wanted it to look as realistic as possible. So you're gonna see me basically kind of make my own curve type of thing. That way it can seem like it's actually cropped out rather than well it is cropped out, but you get what I'm saying. Make it seem real, realistic, like really curved and all this and that, not straight line, because it would have looked weird and ugly. So yeah, that's what I did for right there. And then I saved it. Then you're gonna see me do basically the same thing to the next picture of us. okay so right here is a little trick that i found out basically is if you end up erasing something that you didn't want to erase so say you're trying to crop out and you make a mistake and erase the middle of your face trying to crop crop out of outer border um you can press restore and you can basically restore that small area and then press erase and go back to erasing what you want to erase and i actually am going to i i did make a mistake and you know erase extra than i was supposed to so you are going to see me do restore and um restore what i made a mistake in erase 
so that was what i was doing in the beginning and i just wanted to mention that in case you all were trying to figure out how i did it or why i did it and such so yeah let's just get back to going what we was doing and then another thing i like about erasers that you can make it as the um width of the circle the eraser circle as big as you want and as small as you want so I made it, you know, the size that it is because um, I wanted to, you know, get in that really small area to just make it, my border look better and more realistic. And then another thing I was going to mention is if, say, you saw how I pressed that, you saw how I erased the roll, but then I went back. Instead of pressing restore, I pressed undo because of the fact that it wasn't really that much of a problem for me to just basically go back and then start over with outlining because it's such a small space. So, yeah. so right here you're going to see me showing you all okay so before i recorded this video i had already made a thumbnail for a video we were doing but then so i was like well let me show people how to make their own so basically what you're going to see is me going to search up uno card pngs I already had one safe, but I was trying to show you all how to search up your own PNG. So say you're doing something about elephants. You can look up elephant PNG. And it's supposed to basically be kind of like a transparent um, a transparent picture. That way you can use it as like a small little piece in your thumbnail. Basically how I used our pictures and stuff. Kind of like that. And it basically is you know that that way you don't have to go and search for a picture and crop it out and all that type of stuff i ended up having to crop mine out anyway for some reason because i didn't save them properly but it's really easy to search up for your own kind of transparent png so basically that's what i was showing you to do in case nobody didn't know how to do it so okay so now to make our thumbnail size we're going to go to fun tone and we're going to press the camera and you can use the image but i press plain images and i'm actually going to customize my own size to be 12 1280 by 720 which is the size of a thumbnail for youtube so i did that and now i'm going to up add an image and the image i'm going to add is the background that i want for the uno picture so those are the that's the picture i'm going to use the uno thing and i'm basically going to resize it to fit the um to fit basically i'm going to use the black plain image as a template so i can resize my uno background to fit correctly like it should in a thumbnail that way i won't have to do too much extra when i go and upload the video the upload upload the thumbnail for the video sorry but yeah so you're going to see me doing that right here okay so now i'm on pix art i had cut out the piece but i'm on pix art and now what i'm going to do is i want my this background to kind of blur out which you saw in the thumbnail so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to blur this out so i go to um effects then i go to blur then i basically you know kind of pick which blur i want adjust it to how i want it to look or how i don't want it to look basically mess with it until i get what i what i want it to look like or get an idea or at least close to the idea so that's what you're going to see me doing here just messing around with it picking around with it okay so right here you're going to see me take the pictures that i had cropped out earlier and i'm going to add them to my background and the way to get my border is once i push the add photo um, it gave me an option you swipe all the way over and you press border and then basically you pick your custom or do a custom color and you can swipe how thick you want or how thick you don't want it and such so yeah you're gonna see me do that And now you are going to see me go back to Fonto because of the fact that I do not like how pics are, fonts are. So I'm going to go to Fonto and I'm going to make my own, basically kind of on a plain image again. I'm going to make my own title for how to make a thumbnail. 
as you can see and i'm going to basically just pick the color of the stroke how what i want the stroke to be what i want the color of the words to be then i'm going to save it and then you're going to see me go back to eraser where i'm going to basically make it like popped out where it's just the words rather than the background and i'm going to go back into pixar and i'm going to add that to there so you're going to see me do all of that Okay, so now we're getting towards the end of the video. So I hope this video was very helpful and educational. And do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And yeah, and share with some friends. That's it. That's all. Oh, and go watch our other videos. Bye.